All right, so who am I here with? We're here with Bank Web Booner, the big wool driver and shooter. Spit him a doula, a.k.a. Mr. Doodle Doo, Woo Baby. I know what's going on. All right, so for the people out there that don't really know what you do, just explain a little bit about yourself and what you do. Shit, I'm a rapper. Um, I do, I do, I do, I, rap, I do drill music, all types of shit, different genres and all types of shit. For me, I be going viral. That's, that's, that's what I do. So you mentioned you do other genres. What are some other genres that you do besides drill? Like, um, what would they, how they call that shit? Like, regular rap, I guess. Um, hip hop, kind of? Like, hip hop. For me, I do a little bit of singing, so like, like, so like, um, oh, you be you know, singing? Yeah, 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 I got some shit, some, some shit in the cut, gangsta. What's it called? Oh, you ain't, you ain't make it yet? Nah, I ain't drop it yet, I ain't drop it yet. What made you want to, like, start getting to the R&B and singing and shit? Because you, you a drill rapper, so, like, you know? But I got to show the world that I can switch it up, you feel me? Like, mm. when you show niggas you can switch it up, then you just not subjected to one lane. You trying to be versatile, type versatile. shit. Yeah, hell yeah. Nah, I feel you, I feel you. Feel you. So, um, so you're a drill rapper. What kind of made you want to start doing drill rap and just music in general? Shit, the shit that I go through, you feel me? Like... I was attracted to that shit since I was a kid. You know, since the Chicago niggas start doing it and shit like that. I grew up listening to that shit a lot. You know, world, like, shit like that. That's what that's what got me really into it. The Bobby Smurders, Rowdies, and shit like that. That shit, when they, when they, when they hit out here, when they hit home, and I'm like, all right, we can, for me, we can start fucking with it too. And I had that voice for it. And that's when I saw, that's when I found my gift. I found my talent and shit. You think the drill rappers from Chicago, like the OGs, like Chief Keef, uh, G Herbo, stuff like that, you think that they kind of influenced your music in a way? Um, no, I don't think they really influenced it. They just, they, I felt like it was just a, they just the same the type drill. of lifestyle. Yeah, they started the whole drill shit for me, and, and that, that was just a lifestyle. And we went through it on our own out here, and boom. It's New York drill music and Chicago drill music sound different, you know what I mean? Nah, for me. So where you from for the people out there that don't really know where you from? I'm from the Ville, from Brownsville. So how was your upbringing, your childhood, you know, being from Brownsville and stuff like that? Shit, it was lovely. I, like, I had a lot of fun um, for me. And shit was like, it's like, a, it's like, a, it's like a, it's like a gift and a curse. Cause how do you say that? I say that because... I learned a lot from it, and I went through a lot in it. So it's like I love it and I hated it. For me, it's a love-hate relationship with the girl. You know what I'm saying? Or so, and the veil is woo, right? With two O's, right? Um, two is O's. And the veil is woo with three O's. Three bro. O's. Okay. Yeah. So, question. So, what's the difference between the two? Because I see sometimes. People, people say woo and is with the two O's and then, like you said right now, you have woo with three O's. Kind of, for the people out there that don't really know, kind of what is the difference between the two or, or is there any difference at all? I mean, all in all, overall, we all together, you feel me? We all we got. So like, but it, it, the difference is, is, it's different meanings. You know, woo started in the veil, then it, it branched out to the flossy. But our shit, it, it originally stands for Woo with three O's because it's we on our own. Shit like that. Okay, Um. so what's next for you? Like, what you got coming up? Any music videos, songs, projects, anything like that? Yeah, I got an EP coming. For me, it's called The Influence. Um, I got another single coming out called Chopped Cheese. Chopped cheese. Shit, shit, we about to go crazy on these niggas, man. Gangsta. That, that's your favorite... Um, Sandwich from the deli to get? That's one of them, one of them, yeah. one of them, one of my favorite ones. Feel me? They know who started this drill shit, who's, who started rapping with all the energy. They know who did that. Feel me? So they gonna, now I'm about to show them, like, how, who they got it from. Feel me? So I see you got a song with K Goddess. She's checking bitches like a chicken boy, but I'm playing bull full press. I ain't in the trust of niggas, I'ma carry guns, shit, I might even wear vests. How you kind of like tapped in with K Goddess and shit like that? That's my sis, like, for me, she like she like family and shit. So I seen her working. She she I be working and it, it, it made sense. It made sense. It made a lot of sense to for me put that shit together. She a female. I'm a male. I don't got no shit with no females. 
and shit like that. So for me, that she woo, I'm woo, so it made sense. Do you see yourself working with more um, female artists in the future? So I don't know. I don't know. We gonna figure something out. Maybe, maybe not. I don't know. Any any female artists out there that you would like to work with? Shit, I fuck with a lot of their music and shit, but I, I'm not sure. Yeah, I gotta just see the vibes first. I'm all about the energy and shit like that. For me. So question, it's kind of like a trending topic right now, you know what I'm saying? The whole Bronx versus Brooklyn type shit. So like, how do you feel about the whole Bronx drill movement going on right now? Cause you know, I, you know, Brooklyn started dr Brooklyn drill. They started the drill in New York, but like the Bronx is, I feel like taking it to a whole new level. I ain't gonna lie. Yeah, I, I love what they doing. I love what they doing. I love that the shit that, the energy that I put out and, 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 and. My talents and shit that I, you feel me? My wave I created, that shit reached out there. So it's like, I'm, I'm happy for it. I'm, I'm happy that that shit going the way that it's going, you know what I mean? Because it shows me like, damn, we just started some whole new waves. Brooklyn Drill shit, we just started a whole new sound, a whole new, that's 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 legendary, you feel me? So for me, I shout out to those guys and shit like that. Would you, would you ever work with some people from the Bronx? I mean, shit, a lot of the niggas from the Bronx want to fuck with me and shit, but I'm trying to see, because I got enough situations on my hand my, myself, and I see them niggas got a lot of shit going on, so we're going to figure it out. We're going to see, for me, who really serious and go from there. So, more or less, who's your top five artists in New York right now? Top five artists in New York? Well, me, I would say my son Favi, I would say my son Chef, I would say, um, I would even, I would even say, um, for me, Rowdy and Bobby, right now. For some reason, I thought you would have said Pop Smoke. Yeah, but you know, oh, right now, I think you're saying like. Nah, just in general. Eh? In general, yeah, of course, Pop. If, if that's the case, yeah, Pop Smoke would definitely be up there. For me. Has how has Pop Smoke kind of influenced your music and? What you do basically like influence your career? Has he, if he has? Um, shit, he just made me want to do, like, to switch it up. You feel me? Switch up the flow. You feel me? Shit like that. Um, he made me want to do it better. It was better, you know. He was backing out foreigners and shit. He made me want to do shit like that. He made me want to up it. So, have you ever got a chance to meet him? Yeah, I seen I seen him a couple times before he passed away and shit. Well, you know, going through high schools and shit like that. But like when he was on the come up, when he started the music and shit. Now I ain't get a chance to get around him, but I'm I'm around all his mans, his day ones that for me that started the music shit with him. So by now, me and him would have probably had music together, shit like that. But where do you see yourself in the next five years? Shit, rich, richer than a bitch, you know. Word, the next five years, rich, for me. Putting other niggas on their feet, shit like that. So if you wasn't doing music, what would you be doing right now? I don't know, bro. I probably won't be out here right now, though. I know that. Like, I'll probably be doing some some old other negative shit, bro, that I don't like. For me, I can't really talk about. So you have, like, a little slogan that you always say in your music and stuff like that. Listen, bitch, I'm moving clever. Yeah, yeah. How does it go? Does, is it like pow pow? Nigga, you know that shit ain't no fucking pow pow, nigga. Nigga, I, you know how that shit go, bro. Mm -hmm. I thought it was I thought it was like a like a like a gun sound. It's doodle do, yeah. I ain't no pow that ain't what's a pow pow pow, bro. You trying to play me, son? Nah 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 nah. I'm being serious bro. Like I thought it was nah, pow pow pow. You trying to play niggas and shit. I'm not playing today, bro. So, so, so it it goes doo doo doo. Yeah, doo doo doo. Yeah. So you gotta say it with your chest. You gotta say doo 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 doo. Yeah, yeah, just like so, that. So, what does that mean, doo doo doo? Like, where do you get that from? It's a whole lot of gunshots, man. You know how we do it, doo doo doo, man. Whole lot of gunshots, whole lot of gun sounds. All right. So, is there anything out there that you want to tell the people out there before we close this interview? Yeah, just make sure y'all tap in Bankroll Bruno on IG, YouTube, go subscribe, go follow me. You already know the vibes. Do the do cool G-Way. All right, so I had a question, bro. I was trying to see if you, you wanted to get popped. What? Like, uh, 
Like, I was just trying to see you trying to get popped. Like, you. Oh, too much. Oh, damn. Damn. Ah, it's a prank, bro. It's a prank. Damn. It's a prank, bro. It's a pop. Damn. It's a prank, bro.